Hello everyone, Linus from Strusoft here. Uh, today is uh, time for my first tip of the week of the year. And I've decided to talk a little bit about our new functionalities. Uh, for you who work with uh, automatic welding machines and preparing the, the reinforcement in the elements uh, for those machines. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, I have prepared a, uh, a drawing here. Uh, it's a form slab. And um, yeah, I've prepared it uh, for this uh, this tip. Um, we have these functionalities for for um, for more element types, but uh, form slab was what I decided to use. Um, and before we go into the details, the producibility check is uh, basically yeah the reason for that we have it is that. The machines that are welding the meshes are having some specific uh, requirements. For instance, the distance between the, the elements here or the bars, the grid, um, the diameter that the machine can handle and a lot of other things. So the producibility check is um, basically yeah, checking uh, against that rule set or requirements and see that, okay, can this element be produced? So uh, I will do that. Uh, I go to the form slab tab and to this check producibility for form slab, like that. And uh, it will run a check and see that okay. In this case, some bars were rejected, and in my case here, it's all of them because they are red. So do you want to view the errors? And that's a yes. So this is uh, how it looks like. We have a preview and we have some uh, some issues. All the issues today was, uh, or for this case, was uh, regarding projection. So you see here that the part of the rebar that's sticking out after meeting the the last perpendicular rebar, that's the projection. So for the horizontal ones, the two above here, uh, it's that the projection is not enough. So it's 20 millimeters needs to be minimal minimum 25. And for the vertical ones in the bottom, we have 34 millimeters, but it can only be 32. So we need to fix that later. So in our case here, it's pretty easy. We have only one or a few uh, issues, but one uh, basically. We can also see that by using this uh, filter group uh, projection arrows. We actually have two uh, because we have more than and less than, but it's the same uh, issue basically. Uh, but let's say that you have more uh, issues, uh, different ones. Maybe you have a complex element, so you, you have one rebar that is not in the grid, one that is too short, one that has the wrong diameter, and so on. Then you might need to uh, want to like give a, get an overview and filter out. So uh, first of all, you can yeah, first the easiest uh, that has doesn't do anything with the filter, but it's clicking the select bar here and selecting one or a few that you want to check um, or filter out. Um, or you can use these other filter options. So the element part is, for instance, for double wall to see, OK, I want to check only for, for the mesh in panel one or and so on. The orientation, um, vertical or horizontal, if you want to use that. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's do that maybe. So I take the vertical now. Um, yeah, the construction part is different, but in this case, it's the or, or direction of the rebars. Uh, length, you can uh, filter out on a specific length, maximum, and so on. Um, and yeah, show all bars, shows the hidden bars as well. So if I uncheck this, I will only see the vertical ones that I've selected. Uh, here I see everyone. The, the non-selected ones are gray if they have an issue, and green if they are fixed. So hopefully we'll see the fixed ones later on. But I will first con uh, fix this one. Um, we see that they need to be shorter, uh, the projection on the lower end. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I do this, this most easy thing here. I create this selection set, and that's basically yeah selecting all the rebars that have this issue for me. So I say okay, and they are selected. 
So now I could trim them myself, but instead I will uh, use the new tools here that we have. Um, so I'll go here and say trim to maximum bar projection. So like that. And um, yeah, it was only two millimeter, per, but if I check the distance, you see that, okay, it's uh, 32 now. So that's great. So I run a new check. Of course, I can fix all or many issues in the same uh, same time, but I want to show you the differences here. So now when I do the check, I get this green because now they are fine for the machinery. But I have some red, so um, I will say yes. And now we see here that when showing all bars, we see the green ones in uh, that are correct before they were gray. Uh, so now I can uh, do the rest and that's for the horizontal ones. So I, yeah, I don't need to filter it out. I just say create selection set and they are selected. And these were not too, too long, but they were too short. So I need to extend them, not trim them. And uh, now it was both sides for the vertical, it was only in the bottom. So here, it asked me, okay, do you want to extend the right, left side, right side, or both? So I will just say both. And I'll run a check again. Hopefully, yeah, everything is is uh, is fine. So I don't need to to uh, to fix anything more. So now this element is is ready for production. So uh, yeah, a little bit longer tip this week, but uh, this week. But I hope that you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope that you will enjoy this functionality. Uh, it's it's a good improvement since uh, or compared to what we had previously. So with this, I want to thank you for your attention, and uh, yeah, have a great day ahead, and uh, see you soon with another nice tip.